Hi everyone, my name is Selivia Wati, the instructor of this unit, Overview of Operating System. This is the outline of this unit, and in this unit, we will look into the definition of Operating System, or in short, OS. Then we will look into the perspective view of the OS, Resource Manager, the function and task of OS, OS evolution, types of OS, and last but not least, the OS challenges. This is the learning outcome of this unit. At the end of this unit, students should be able to understand the basic concept of operating system, understand the functions of operating system, and understand how operating system evolve. So, what is operating system? It is a software program which acts as an interface between computer system users and the computer hardware. Take a look of the diagram at the right side of this slide that shows the layers of connection between user at the top layer and the hardware or machine at the bottom layer. When a user used a computer application, what happened below that is actually the application on behalf of the user communicate with the hardware through the very important part which is the operating system. So the OS is to provide a user-friendly environment for a user to easily develop and execute their program and to hide the complex hardware from the user. As it is an interface between two different components, the OS can be viewed in two different perspectives, which is user view and system view. From the user view, user sees the interfaces provided by the OS. The user can manipulate all resources for its work to be performed through the OS. So OS need to be user friendly and perform as expected. From the system view, the OS is a resource allocator, a manager that manages all hardware and software running in the system. OS also expected to resolve conflicting requests and control the execution of the computer programs. As mentioned previously, OS is a resource manager. So what does that mean? And what are the resources? OS manages resources, namely processor, memory, device, and file by allocating them to the program and users and deallocating them after they are no longer used. With the OS, software programmers can get rid of the difficult hardware considerations. With four resources that I mentioned just now, there are four main management tasks of the operating system, respectively. They are processor management, memory management, device management, and file management. Here are the main function or tasks of the OS. When computer starts, the OS boots or states the computer. It also manages the basic computing tasks and peripheral, keyboard, mouse, and others. Obviously, it provides user interface. It manages system resources for sharing of memory and processing. It also manage file and how to manipulate them. And it handles error and conflicts within the system to ensure system stability. Let's have a look at the OS evolutions. The diagram in this slide shows the evolution of Windows and Unix operating system from the beginning until the current versions. This slide shows the OS evolution at the early computers era. Program were loaded into memory manually using punch card, switches, or even paper tapes. In late 1950s, computer used batch operating system in which the computer ran batches of job without stop. Program were punched into cards just like in the picture. In 1960s, paper tape are used to code the program before processing. The picture on this slide 
shows how the paper tapes look like. In 1970s, as time went on, card readers, printers, and magnetic tape unit were developed as additional hardware elements. Assembler, loaders, and simple utility libraries were developed as software tools, and later offline spooling and channel program methods were developed sequentially. In 1970s, the idea of multiprogramming finally came. Multiprogramming means sharing of resources between more than one processes. By multiprogramming, the CPU time, CPU stands for Central Processing Unit, is not wasted because while one process moves on, the OS picks another process to be executed. Look at the diagram below this slide. The overall memory uh, slices into different parts, named job 1 until job 3, and then some part reserved for the operating system. Each of that job is treated individually as one process. With the development of interactive computation in 1970s, time-sharing system emerged after that. And that means multiple users have terminals, which do not consider a computer because it does not do any processing in the terminal. Instead, it is connected to the main computer and execute their tasks in the main computer. The operating system can be categorized into five main types, namely simple batch system, multiprogramming batch system or time sharing system, multiprocessor system, distributed operating system, and real time operating system. For the simple batch system, job have to be submitted through computer operator, and then the operator places a batch of several jobs on an input device. For the multiprogramming batch system or time sharing system, Computer do one job at a time, and when the job need to access data, it switches to another job while waiting for the data to come, and vice versa. For the multiprocessor system, multiple processors share a common physical memory to execute several tasks at the same time, and this gives better performance in terms of computing power and speed. In the distributed operating system, multiple computer systems can connect to each other via the communication network to do what the multiprocessor multi system does, but cheaper in implementation costs. And last but not least, for the real-time operating system, it is used for the critical operation to give maximum time for the operation and to complete it in time. This slide shows the development of Windows operating system from the beginning until the Windows 10 version. This slide shows the different distribution of Unix-based or Linux operating system. And this slide here shows the different version of Mac OS. In today's operating system, the operating system is specially developed for the uh, smartphones, embedded system, web servers, laptops, tablets, and virtual machines. This slide shows the mobile operating system with the symbol of the operating system that may be familiar to you, for example, Android and iOS. Now we come to the last section of this unit, which is OS challenges. The OS challenges can be discussed in terms of reliability and security. In terms of reliability, it can answer the question like does the OS do what it was designed to do and it's related to the availability which answer the question what portion of the time is the system working and in terms of security it, uh, it can answer the question of can the system be compromised by an attacker and it's related to privacy issue which where the data is accessible only to the authorized user and both of the reliability and security require very careful design and coding. The performance of the operating system is also a big challenge in the operating system development. It is measured through latency or response time, throughput, overhead, fairness and predictability. 
So, as a conclusion, operating system is an essential part of the computer technology. It supports the operation of computer and evolves as how the computer technology evolves.